Hello and welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, use 2D contouring to mill along a curved surface and what we're going to do is make this um, this tube have delineations on it like a dial. And how we're going to do that is I have imported this model that I made. Um, it's a two inch diameter tube with about a quarter inch diameter um, quarter inch thick wall and uh, I'm going to first um, define the workpiece for this so I am going to click on workpiece and click primitive and I'm going to make it a cylinder around the x-axis and click add now that is my workpiece now I have to create the geometry to make the delineations for the dial so we're going to click on 2D geometry and we're going to click on the top view and zoom in a bit here now I'm going to make two lines first line and click on the line tool and click the origin and I want that line to go to negative 0.25 X so I'm going to click enter and then I'm going to click Y of 0 and there's my first line I'm going to do the same thing make another line right over the top and I'm going to click in the box and put a negative a half of an inch and enter and Y zero and enter now I have two lines that overlap so now we can go back to the machining tab and you can see the lines in here and we are going to create a finishing 2D contour now we'll turn the tool off here so it doesn't kind of go and get in our way and what we want to do is go to our job assignment and pick our base surface now the base surface for 2D contouring is something that's a little bit newer in the last few releases so we're going to click base surface and then we're going to click the outside of the cylinder and click OK now that is our base surface that that tells SprueCam that this is a curved surface we're going to be milling on and also that the, the edge of that curved surface counts as zero Z zero now that we've selected our base surface we're going to select our curve so I'm going to come over here and click curve I'm going to take the drop down and pick global CS and these are the two curves that we drew in uh, 2D geometry I'm going to pick the shorter of the two curves which is C11 and click add now you see that went straight up way up to here that's because we have um, some different heights in the parameter setting so now we're going to double click 2D contouring and I have a eighth inch engraver right here so I'm going to double click that that has a 30 degree tip on it and we're gonna skip feeds and speeds and lead in lead out or go right to parameters and in the parameters section we are going to change our top level to zero and change our bottom level to a negative point zero zero five and our safe plane we are going to pick point zero two and we are going to click OK now you see that that line is on the top of the curve which is zero we'll click run 
and let's go ahead and simulate what we got here cutter should come right down and put a nice little mark right on the top looks good well that's just one mark what do we got to do we have to transform that geometry so we are going to go back into 2d country go to transformation and we're gonna pick uh, the mode of copying on the A axis. We're gonna put two degree delineations on here. So we have to do that. What's uh, 360 divided by two? It's 180. So we will click OK. And now we will rerun the part and you can see all those little lines have gone in now let us simulate again oh, the simulation engine's not looking too good right now let us um go to Voxel 3D. I'll oh, go back to machining just to reset it. We'll reset that and we'll go to Voxel 5D. Oh, that looks much better. Okay. Now let's play. That looks much better. So that's going to go around the whole cylinder. We'll speed it up and put a line every two degrees. All right, but we have two lines. So we'll go back to our machining tab and right click on 2D contouring and click copy and we will right click and click paste then we will click on the second 2d contouring and we are going to eliminate our first curve so we'll put clear in there now we'll click on the curve icon again and this time we are going to pick k12 and then click add now it's jumped up that longer line to the top but we don't want those every two degrees so we're going to double click put our multiply, multiply step at 10 and change this to 36 and click OK and run now every 10 degrees there will be a longer line so you know where the 10 degrees are so I hope this has been interesting um, ooh you know one last thing we could uh, show you is let's turn on the machine and see what it looks like doing the whole process So let's take a look at what it'll look like um, from start to finish with the machine. There you go, every two degrees, and now we did every 10 degrees. So this has been how to use 2D contouring to create a curve on a curved surface. I hope you enjoyed it.